Hello, my name is Malcolm Short. I'm the Technical Support Manager for Isle UK. And today I want to talk about self-adjusting clutches, how they work, why they're used, and some interesting fitting tips. The fundamental design problem with a conventional type clutch is that as the friction material wears, it gets thinner and the diaphragm spring finger angle changes. It becomes steeper and therefore harder to overcome. So the pedal load changes as the clutch wears. The self-adjusting clutch overcomes that with a self-adjusting mechanism within the cover and it restores the diaphragm spring finger angle maintaining the normal pedal load throughout its life. To see how it works we need to look at the individual components within the system and see how they interact with each other. We start with a fairly conventional pressure plate. On top of that sits a sensor spring. Now this actually replaces one of the pivot rings in a conventional clutch. On top of that a diaphragm spring. Again nothing too elaborate there, pretty common between that and a conventional clutch. Then inside the cover we have the adjuster ring. Now the adjuster ring is either metal or plastic. It has a series of serrated ramps around the outer edge and you'll notice two or three coil springs. And that replaces the other pivot ring in a conventional clutch. And then inside the cover we have a matching set of serrated ramps. As the clutch wears and the friction material gets thinner on the driven plate, the load gets heavier on the pedal. When that load reaches a predetermined maximum, the sensor spring under the diaphragm spring actually collapses, creating a gap between the diaphragm spring fingers and the cover. That gap is then filled by the adjuster ring rotating, thereby restoring the original angle on the diaphragm spring fingers and lowering the pedal load back to where it should be. A couple of things of interest with the self-adjusting clutch is firstly it's so light that we have to put some additional springs in there just to give it a bit more resistance toward the end of its travel. And because the diaphragm spring fingers are moving down as the clutch wears, there has to be a limit. And the limit is that stop ring underneath. So the first complaint you may get from your customer is that when they operate the clutch, they feel a hard stop at the bottom of the pedal. And it's the fingers touching that stop ring. A good tip is when you take the clutch out of the box, make sure those small coil springs are fully compressed. If they're extended, it means somebody's tried to fit it before and de-adjusted the clutch. Important thing to remember with self-adjusting clutches is they should be bolted to the flywheel evenly and sequentially. In fact, we recommend the use of the self-adjusting clutch tool which preloads the clutch before you put any bolts in. Some BMWs and later VAGs come with what we call a fitment tool, like this image, and that stops the clutch disengaging or de-adjusting during transport and fitment. The important thing to remember is you cannot remove that tool until after it's been bolted to the flywheel. That concludes our presentation on self-adjusting clutches. Thanks for watching.